Here comes the field for tonight's ninth race. Philly's American Condition Pace exact the trifecta one Johanna. Owned by Bob Griffith, driven by Sandy Beating. Two is Mary Maker, owned by Russell Hare and James Woodward with Dell S. Miller. Three, My Scotch Mist, owned by Stephen Watkins, Sidney and Danny McCulloch with Mike Wilder. Four, Sassy Abu, owned by Mary Wolf, Kim Godfrey and Larry Coder with Jeff Fout. Five, Halcyon's Prelude, owned by Vicki Ladyard with Jordy Essig. Six is Honey Bon Osborne, owned by Herbie Brown with Doug Routsong. Seven is Creole, owned by Eddie George with Tony Morgan. Number eight is Car Trouble, owned by Jason Ash, driven by David Miller. Number nine, Tucson Gwenny, owned by Asim Payson Stables. Lisa Grubick and Jeffrey Rector, Brad Hanners, will be in the sulky. Phillies and mares for the ninth, six minutes till post time. Field for the ninth at the gate and moving through the turn. Field for race nine is at the gate and moving through the turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off fan pacing. Johanna takes the lead. Creole between horses. There goes Car Trouble rushing up on the far outside. They're down the back stretch. Mary Maker will come off the pace from fourth. After that, it's My Scotch Mist who is in the fifth. Around the turn, Sassy Abu. Followed by Halcyon's Prelude. Honey Bun Osborne in the trailer is Tucson Gwenny. Too deep to the opening quarter. Drive it up on the outside. Car Trouble gets the lead. Creole stings are pretty good in second. They're by the opening quarter in a sharp 28 and 1. Mares in parade racing past the stands to the half. Car Trouble's there by a solid length. Creole adds spice to the mix in second. I guarantee. Moving up on the outside. Here comes Mary Maker with a rush. Around the clubhouse turn. Johanna is fourth. After that, it's my Scotch Mist who is on the rocks in fifth. Moving up on the outside, Sassy Abu as they hit the paddock turn. Next in line, Halcyon's Prelude out and moving from the back. Honey Bon Osborne and the trailer is now Tucson Gwenny. They cover the half in a moderate 58 and 3. Out of the turn and down the back stretch. Creole's coming again to challenge Mary Maker. Mary Maker, three parts of a length. Rolling up on the outside, Creole second. Ear plugs out on car trouble third. Sassy Abu drives up on the outside. As they move in the three quarters, Creole on the outside tries to clear Mary Maker. Some war going on right now. Here's Sassy Abu three deep on the far outside. 127 and three. Around the far turn. Mary Maker is fighting back. Creole flattens out just a bit. Sassy Abu is up on the far outside. We're down to these three. They're into the stretch. Mary Maker shows the way. Sassy Abu moves up on the outside. Creole is still attacking in the center. Mary Maker right alongside Sassy Abu. Sassy Abu getting up. Here comes the unofficial winner of the ninth for Sassy Abu. Four year old Bay Mirror by Albert Albert out of Rosalind Lobel. Owned by trainer Larry Coder, Kim Godfrey, and Mary Wolf, all of Ohio. Driven tonight by Jeff Falk, covering the mile in 156 and 4 for Sassy Abu, the unofficial winner. Windows are now put on tonight's 10th race. No changes in the 10th. Feature tonight for the older Phillies and Mares, sponsored by Trader Buds, Westside Dodge. We'll feature Steinem's Place, Alert Missy, Santastic, Matt Machine, Hills Kiss Across, Illegally Parked, and Apart. Top Mares in the 10th, post time in 15 minutes. Then we'll have the Scarlett O'Hara final for 65,000. 12th and 13th, 13th will be the Superfecta. No changes on the balance of the program. Post time 1039.
396 in the mile was 156 and 4. 13 till Pope. 